The reason why you see Deb washing her hands in that water, it's distilled water. We are not taking any chances this morning. As you can see, Dr. Deb is preparing to take the jellyfish by hand out of the tank, sorry for my finger there, and placing them very gently into four cups of their original salt water. There we go, one, very good. Taking the next one out. The reason why we are doing this is we tested this morning and our levels are even worse than they were yesterday. Second jellyfish in her hand. This actually is probably, from what we were told, the best way to do it. In the meantime, this morning, I spoke to JC. Once again, he's saving us. As did the gentleman who helped on the jellyfish site this morning and last night. They're in there. So now what we're going to do is... We're just gonna let them be. In speaking to JC this morning, we realized we just did not have enough bacteria. Probably my fault, washing out the sponge, big mistake, even though we added live rock and maintained last night. JC instructed me to get Imagitarium Pacific Ocean water, which we did. In addition, I purchased a large tub, which the ocean water is in and tested the PPT and it's identical to what we have now. So four cups of water, saving, and we are going to be completely doing the tank over. In the meantime, we have taken our live rock and our bio bag and placed it in the salt water just to make sure our rock, as you can see, stays alive. Deb is taking apart the tank. As you can see, it was, uh, JC had said, what we want to do is completely empty it out, make sure we have no debris in it. I'm going to be removing the foam and putting that aside. Deb is now removing all the water, making sure that everything from the bottom is out, so maybe to push a little bit, there you go, to make sure all sediment is out without using a brush or a paper towel or anything else. We're so paranoid about using tap water that we're getting rid of any other possible residual using distilled water. Good morning, Jellyfish Art. This is JC speaking. Hey, JC. It's Julie and Deb. We've got the jellyfish, hey, hay, and right. four cups of water waiting. We're about ready to acclimate them slowly. Can you tell me how much? Yes. You're going to use about a half a cup, and you're going to add that to the jellyfish about every 10 to 15 minutes for an hour. Okay. You're the best. So, All right. Thank you. Thank you. We've done everything else, and then we can add them to the tank, correct? Yes. Then you can add them into the tank, and we should start seeing... Uh, some recovery within the next couple days. You're the best. Thanks, JC. Talk to you in an hour. All right. Bye-bye. Deb is adding a half a cup now to our little baby jellyfish. As you can tell, I forgot to hang up the phone. Great. Deb is pouring in from the salt water box. We know the salinity is really good on this. It's at a perfect 30, the same as our tank. So we're gonna get it going. I'm also going to add a half a cap of maintain to the back and a half a cap to the front. So while the jellies are waiting and acclimating, we'll get this turned on and start it going. I'm not sure if you can see, but if you look at the our medium guy, you can see he has food in his belly. Deb fed them while I went out. Our big guy, who's the healthiest, doesn't appear to have eaten, but can you see our sickly guy at the bottom? He has food in his belly, which you can't really see him, but he's under 
our medium guy, and he ate this morning, so maybe there's hope. So Deb is washing her hands in distilled water because she is going to be taking our babies out and putting them in the new tank water. Everything is looking really good. They're in here. There's our live rock. Deb is carefully picking them up in her hand, placing them gently in the tank, slowly. Wow, look at you. Okay, baby. It's been an hour of acclimating them to the new salt water. Two. There you go. And our little guy who, as we know, hasn't been doing so great. Although, we did see he had food, or she. I don't care what anybody says. They may not scientifically have a brain or a heart, but they definitely, they're pretty special. Deb is now going to slowly add the water to the back of the tank to avoid any bubbles. One of our babies, the middle one, keeps flipping over, upside down, a little concerned. Deb is gonna add a cap full of the Maintain, mix it with the salt water that we have to the back of the tank. Adding the rock and the bio bag. We cut a little of the foam off to make more room for the rock, just on the side. I'm not sure why, but now everybody's floating at the top, but I'm sure they'll swim around. Not the best video, but as you can see, all three of them are moving at the top. Salinity's good. I'm going to test the water again in about 15 minutes. Well, here is Mo, our little guy that was shriveled up and at the bottom. He's been swimming around top to bottom. The others are kind of just hanging out. You can't see them all the way at the top, unfortunately, but Mo is uh, swimming about. There he is. Hey, Mo. So interestingly enough, he is the most active right now. You can see he still has that big gaping hole, but I believe this water change, doing everything that JC said to do this morning, maybe he'll be okay. There's our big guy and our middle child hanging out more at the top. And then we have down here our little guy Though he's been at the top quite a bit. There they are, the three of them. The big guy more at the top. The two swimming more around. A big giant thank you to JC of Jellyfish Art for really saving the day and telling us exactly what to do. As you can see, Brutus is coming down from the top, though going back up. And we have Luigi over there in the middle, doing good. And there's baby Mo. He is really uh, 
If you could have seen him this morning just laying on the bottom, pretty much all shriveled up, he is doing the most swimming out of all of them. It, it's just incredible. There you are, Brutus. And that's it. So thank you, JC. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything is looking good. Really happy. There we go. Here's Mo. There's Luigi. Again, thank you so much, JC and Jellyfish Art. Everybody's good.